So is my man really committing uh, career suicide here? Or, or is there some buffoonery going on that he's seen that he's finna call out? I guess we'll all find out together in real time. But before we do that, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are getting into another Wii Scheme music video simply called Death to YouTube Rap. And uh, woohoo! Bold title for a bold track. I will say that right off the bat. And no, that doesn't mean that I have actually gave this a once over or even heard this at all. Nope, I have not heard this yet. So we're about to get into what this is all about together like i said in real time so without further ado let's just jump right into it by liking the hit here <sighs> fuck all of you i don't cheer for the kids on the bench i tell them get better and put in more reps i'm not here defending the refs you're giving me fouls i take me shots on the net and you are a Ooh, I love the sports bars that we are we're coming out with. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to cheer for the kids that be sitting sidelines on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Trying to encourage them. You know what I mean? To get their to get their asses up, get their asses in gear, and start putting out some shit. You know what I mean? Um, kind of sounds like you know a couple of cats I know. I'm just saying. I'm not gonna name no names. Y'all know who you are. Um, but anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I'm probably gonna catch some heat for that, but I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? Because I keep my people's honest, but anyway, um, yeah, again, I love the sports bars, and I, I like how my man said, Yeah, I'm not defending the, the uh, refs either, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm another word for ref, referee, officials, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm sure he means so called officials, you know what I mean? But my man is just here to say his piece, and I want to hear the rest of this, so let's go ahead and get back into this thing. Started as an artist. Well, you need to be an artist then. I don't respect getting views. And I'm more than a businessman. If the content is a product, I'll review it as best as I can. But I think you're out of luck, man. If you think you'd be admired by anyone. Oh, so I see what he's what he's doing here. So he's talking about, okay, yo, if you're an artist, be an artist. You know what I mean? Don't just be a businessman you know what i mean and this is what um this sounds like something that i've touched on before you know what i mean no matter what you want to do you know what i mean yes it's it's important to be knowledgeable of the business aspects of things but that shouldn't be all that you're concerned about it shouldn't be just about you making your money because look i get it we all have bills to pay we all gotta we all have lives to lead you know what i'm saying we all gotta be able to take care of ourselves but but always remember too that whatever you put your heart, your soul into, you're doing it because you love it. You know what I mean? I I make music why because I love it. I make YouTube content why because I love it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Everything else, it's just gonna it's just gonna it's like puzzle pieces. They they fall into place. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Anyway. Oh no, you're superior, Sam. Oh, McDonald can't understand that for every dozen subs he tries, there's only one from this dentist, something for the stupid. Ooh, was that a reference to Tom McDonald? I gotta hear that again. By anyone of your superiors, damn. Oh, McDonald can't understand. So, oh, McDonald can't understand. Every dozen songs he drops. That every dozen song he drops. There's only one room to stand. As something more stupid pop for edgy boomers. I mean, bruh, bruh, <laughs> let's, 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 let's go, let's go. Don't get me started on the cypher, seriously, come on, all these people keep it straight, faces spitting bars upon some Pokemon, it's a con, get it? They... He calling out some cypher heads, you know what I mean? Talking about, yo, spitting bars about Pokemon and stuff, bruh. Uh, now Scheme has let it be known that he's, uh, 
I don't know if it's fair to say in scheme. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong for what I'm about to say. You know what I mean? I, I stand to be corrected, but I'm pretty sure you put out there that you're you're not you're not exactly a huge fan of the nerdcore stuff, which I totally understand. It's not for everybody. However, you did say that there were some some artists that do nerdcore that you do enjoy. So I get it. There are exceptions to the rule. You know what I'm saying? Which is understandable. You know what I mean? Some people do nerd, nerd core very well. Some people don't. You know what I'm saying? And then there's some that, you know, that, I don't know, to me, seem like, it feels like they do it just for the sake of doing it because of pandering sake. They're trying to pander. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. And. Yeah, let, 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 let's go. Let's go. You know the fans are dumb. That's you. Go sweat it. You can never come to you won't regret it. Just call the pander product what it is. Enjoy, man. Get lit. But don't mix it with the real life. Cause then you start to annoy. Oh, bye. They're coming out. Said, man, if, like, if, you, if you're doing it because, hey, you enjoy doing it, then yo, keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not that great at it, hey, that's not a problem. You can overcome. You. You, you can come out of your your uh, your uh, funk, you know what I mean? Look, a lot of people when they first start doing really anything, anything in life, are never good at it from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Again, there's always exceptions to every rule. You know what I mean? But most times, especially in the case of doing music, you know what I mean? Our first song is never going to be, you know, the best song ever. You know what I'm saying? Your first song is always going to be your worst song. You know what I'm saying? Especially um, as you progress, you know what I mean, and you get better with, with your with your with your craft and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go back. I've done this. You're gonna go back and listen to your first song because you're you're gonna question: Is my what, what, was my first song really that good? And then you go back and you listen to it and you find out like, nah, man, damn, that is that is horrible. I could have done that better. I could I could have said this better. You know what I mean? I definitely could have mixed this a whole lot differently and make it sound, you know, much better. But that's part of the process. That's part of uh, growing up. It's the growing pains. You know what I'm saying? We all have to pay dues when it comes to doing this thing that we all love called rap, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has to pay dues. You think Eminem was freaking dope when he first came out, when he first popped, you know, burst out of the gate you know what i'm saying with his stuff and was doing battle rapping and everything no even he was garbage when he first started you know what i'm saying and in order for him to get to where he is he had to have people in his ear telling him okay that works this didn't here's what you can do to improve upon it you know what i mean he needed people to to critique him and tell him you know what he's doing wrong how can he improve you know what I'm saying? So by the time he dropped the Slim Shady LP, he was already, yeah, fired. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was a fire record because he had people in his ear telling him what he needed to hear rather than what he wanted to hear. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a huge fan of gassing people up. Um, there was an artist, you know, within our community who was just starting out. I did a reaction for uh, for his only song that he put out. Don't worry, I'll keep you anonymous, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And um, I noticed other people in the community were trying to gas him up. And that pissed me off because when people first found me and first found my music, you know what I mean? Um, I felt like there was a little bit of biasness in, in, in when they were trying to gas this guy up because this guy that was rapping sounded a lot like me with my earlier stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay. If you're going to gas this person up and he sounds exactly as I did when y'all first found me, we got a problem. And that shit ain't going to fly. If I had to go through the growing pains, if I had to pay dues, then so is this guy here that is not up to, up to that level. Now, was he a terrible rapper? No, he wasn't terrible by any means. He had a, a little flaws a little flaw in his writing he had a little flaw in his in his pacing he had a little flaw in you know some of his verbiage and uh rather than you know fucking pounding him to the ground about it you know what i'm saying i i offer some advice i some of y'all are gonna know who i'm talking about when i say this this artist has a strong foundation he has a strong foundation meaning he has a good start but he is nowhere near where he should be as far as officially dropping stuff. 
I'm still not there. Even though I've grown a lot and I've, you know what I'm saying, improved a lot, I don't feel like I'm there yet. And if I don't feel like I'm there yet, then I'm sure as hell going to let this guy know, hey, look, man, you still got a long way to go. You, you, you got to fix this. You got to fix that. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to make sure that if this person is seriously going to become a rapper, if, he, if he's going to take this music thing seriously, then he needs to show it. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Anyway. Stop it with the rigorous comments. Just stop it. Our brains don't have enough in common. So drop it. You're a core and a main profile. Picture habit by the dog shit. I'm burning bridges that are unsafe to tread. Don't need no other path. I'm just on his friends. Fuck you too. It's better off dead I'm not one of you Never was unsubscribed I'm burning bridges That are unsafe to tread Don't need no other path I'm dishonest friends Fuck you too rabbits better off dead I'm not one of you Never was unsubscribed <laughs> So my man is not afraid To burn some bridges With some uh YouTube rappers And I know what, he, what he's saying when, he, when it comes to Talking about YouTube rappers There's rappers who Who only post their stuff On YouTube You know what I mean um, cause that's the thing about, about YouTube. YouTube is one of the easiest platforms to showcase your, your rapping skills on, um, you know, cause anybody can, can, you know, make, make a video or record some audio, you know what I'm saying? And put it in, in a video format and upload it on here. You know what I'm saying? I know he ain't talking about me cause I've been rapping since before the days of YouTube. You know what I mean? Yes. Believe it or not, there was a time before YouTube and I was already writing stuff and recording stuff. You know what I mean? Before I became a YouTuber. So I'm not taking any offense to this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I support Scheme. Scheme is the homie. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Anyway. Bruh, it must be, you know, call out season or something. Because he's talking about, you know, fake friends. People who, you know what I mean, claim to be there for you, claim to be supporting you, and really they're 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 not. You know what I mean? I, I called it out myself on my uh fam like me track, you know what I'm saying? Which I still need to do a method to the madness episode on. So I don't really want to get too deep into it because um I'd rather save all that for my breakdown. But yeah, I've addressed it in that song, which is a uh, uh, for those of you who may not know, it's a it's a remix to Tupac's uh, Never Had a Friend Like Me. You know what I'm saying? I use a remade beat and um, basically, yeah, just just did a, a, a whole remix um, on that on that song. You know what I mean? Um, I'll be sure to have the uh, audio, uh, official audio, oh no, audio track slash music video playlist up so you guys can go check it out. It's going to be top of the list. I went and rearranged my list so it would be the first song on the top of the list. So anyway. Like you got bigger problems than your Twitter views People cheap needed to escape and game for a go No more secrets to keep though Why bitch you weep this time and that's and, and I'm I'm glad he's addressing this too because this is something else that I noticed too. A lot of these YouTube rappers, you know what I'm saying? Um, be getting into all these little fucking social media beefs, whether it's over Twitter or on YouTube and stuff. And I'm guilty of this too. I'm guilty of this too. So so I'm I'm coming down on myself as well. Um, as I'm addressing this, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's so fucking corny. It's so fucking stupid. And some of these guys be, be, be the same ones who be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm anti-drama. I'm, I'm against the drama. I'm against the bullshit. I'm against the fuckery. But yet these are the same heads though. That'll be putting out diss track after diss track after diss track after diss track on the same person. So, okay, you're, you're anti-drama, but then you're putting out, like, four or five diss tracks on the same person that you claim to be done with. Huh? Huh? Really? Really? Actions speak louder than, than words, you know what I mean? Every time. You're either about that life or you're not about that life. If you're with the bullshit... Don't say you're you're against the bullshit. Don't say you're against the drama. Don't say you're not toxic. Because if you're, you know, getting into fucking social media beefs, you know what I'm saying? You are toxic. You are about the drama. You are about that life. Bruh. 
Mid scheme, who's cutting throats? So I suppose I suppose those for me to expose. Showed expos of white coats till I was dizzy with no shows. Never brought my own hose when starting the fires. Maybe I should cheat and fake it like a mofo till they mark me McGuire to my wife, not a letter boys get to. Ooh, I like that Mark McGuire bar he worked in there, man. That was dope. Too heavy, so she won't provoke the feminist. Steady, steady, keep it fresh so I don't block it now. Let the fans decide who will be my pals. Nah, be a fake, just say my thing. You can be the puppets for the simpleton high brain. Yeah, I I'm with my man on this one too, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't with that fake shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm someone who likes to practice what, what he preaches. I ain't with the bullshit, so I, I ain't talking about fucking bullshit you know what i'm saying um if i see some fuckery i see some buffoonery yeah i'm gonna call it out i'm gonna address it but then once i address it what do i always do afterwards i move on if i do a diss track on somebody i'm only dropping one diss track and i move on because i'm done i've already addressed it and i'm done you know what i'm saying bruh i'm not gonna be like these other heads where uh, i'm gonna be dropping like a shit ton of diss tracks on same person or the same people whatever the fuck no i'm gonna address it and then i'm done i'm moving on y'all want to keep talking your shit after that keep talking your shit after that i don't care you know what i'm saying because life is too short and i got bigger and better fish to fry you know what i'm saying so yeah man i'm with my man on this one so far you know what i mean um yeah if you're not with that if you're not about the bullshit don't then make sure your actions match your words Otherwise, you're fucking fake as fuck. You know what I'm saying? If you're rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you are rocking with me all the way until the bitter end. You know what I'm saying? Through through thick and thin. You know what I mean? If you stop talking to me or whatever, you fucking walk away from me, abandon me, you a fake ass motherfucker. And I don't care who gets butt hurt over what I just said. Hell, I don't care who gets butt hurt over the Fam Like Me remix. If you find offense uh, to, to any of what I just said in regards to the, to the fakery, the fucking buffoonery, Odds are, you're the kind of people that Scheme and I are talking about. Bruh, anyway. You don't think I get it, cause you never think. You thought you thought once, but you want me to reach the brain. How stupid are you? Well, it's time to explain. Cause down at your level's the smoothest of friends. You're the person who says shit, but doesn't know what it means. And I have to explain what you just said to me. Back to you, so you know, and you say, oh damn, that's right. That's true. That's true. You, you know, some rappers, you know what I mean, would, would, would say a certain thing. And it's like, dude, do you even have any idea what you just said? It sounds like you just wrote something because you think it sounds cool. And if it's a diss towards somebody, right, and they know what it means and they got to explain it to you, bruh, you've already lost. You pretty much shot yourself in the foot at that point. <laughs> and therefore, you should just quit. Just quit while you're ahead, man. I mean, bruh. Because that is just, because you just expose yourself. I mean, bruh, bruh. Like, bitch, your mouth said it. Nobody's home. It's just lights. And you want to fight like you got inside. Calling me spiteful when I say you're quite dull. And dip in the head, rightfully so. Shook in my stead. Trying to take a look at this dead mind. If light thick skull. That's taking out the light from my eyes when you're in my sight. Yeah, that's the thing about scheme, man. If you're going to go up against scheme. At least know what you're getting yourself into. Know what you're going to say to this man. Make sure that you're able to explain it before he can. Otherwise, like I said, you, you is done, son. You is done skis, son skis. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying. Let's go, scheme. Right, so get it right. I'm not a fucking stuck up little jerk. It's just dealing with you dumb fucks. It's a fuck ton of work. And, and he ain't wrong about that. And that's why, like I said, when it comes to me, right, if a certain situation is bothering me, if a certain, um, if I have an issue with something or someone, I'm going to address that, address it once. And then that's it. I'm moving on because like he said, it's too much work to focus on anybody and anything. You know what I'm saying? That is just really at the end of the day, a bunch of mindless, senseless fucking nonsense. You know what I mean? Uh, bruh, it, like I said, it ain't worth being caught up in the drama. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth, you know what I mean? Having some silly internet beef or a social media beef really with anyone. It ain't worth it. You want to address them? Fine. Address them and then fucking move on. That's what I do. I address things and move on. That's it. I only do one song about it and then I move on. 
I don't I, I don't understand how, why it's why is it so hard to just do that? And if you can't help yourself, then maybe just ignore the situation altogether. You know what I mean? To help yourself. Bruh. Anyway. I'm burning bridges that are unsafe to tread Don't need no other path to dishonest friends Fuck YouTube rapids, better off dead I'm not one of you, never was unsubscribed I'm burning bridges that are unsafe to tread Don't need no other path to dishonest friends Fuck YouTube rapids, better off dead I'm not one of you, never was unsubscribed So yeah, you know, I'll, I'll stand on that Hillwood scheme. If if by you know saying YouTube rap is dead or it should be dead, and by YouTube rap he means, you know, silly ass fucking petty, you know, drama tracks, diss tracks or whatever, then yes, I I, I would agree. You know what I'm saying, 100. As far as anything else, if it's if it's not negative, you know what I'm saying. If it's positive, if it's cool, if it's dope, you know what I'm saying. Best believe I'm all about it. You know what I mean. Just like. What my man just put out right here. I'm all about this, this track that he put out. I appreciate the message behind it. You know what I'm saying? Because, yes, I too am sick and tired of, you know, fair weather friends, fake ass people, you know what I'm saying? Who claiming to be there for you, who claim to be down with you, right? But then all of a sudden they fucking stop talking to you for insert reason here, right? Or they just, they just up and leave you for insert reason here. And that's why I put out my song, Fam Like Me, because. I'm a loyal motherfucker. If I'm rocking with you, best believe I'm rocking with you. You know what I mean? If I'm supporting you, I'm going to support you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, there's very few people in my circle right now as far as this platform is concerned. Alpha Tyler. I can say Alpha Tyler is, without a doubt, my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Anything that he puts out, anything that he does, best believe I'm going to share it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to see my man, you know, make it on this platform. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. And shout out to my man because he's always supporting me. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to him for agreeing to do a podcast with me. You know what I mean? The Jason Tyler Awesome Show that we now do every Monday. You know what I'm saying? It's always a blast. You know what I mean? I just love hanging out with, 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 with the homie. You know what I'm saying? Um, talking about whatever we want to talk about. We did a whole show where we, we were talking about um, the, the new Batman movie. We were talking about Batman. You know what I mean? Because he and I are both Batman fans. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was a time when we talked about Eminem. And I say that because, you know, Eminem is... is in Crips video, um, but anyway, uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like what what the, like things we that we um, have in common, we talk about. Then there's things that we don't have in common, but we still talk about. You know what I mean? Because again, you know what I mean. We're we we homies. You know what I mean? And that's what our show is all about. And what what is cool is that even when we don't agree, we always find areas that we can agree in our disagreements, you know what I'm saying, we can agree to disagree, you know what I'm saying, and still love each other, still respect each other like brothers, you know what I'm saying, bruh, so yeah, so that's why I always give Alpha Tyler, you know, a shout out, I always show love to the homie, because he really is, you know, my best friend on this platform, you know what I'm saying, bruh, and that's why, you know, I'm grinding my ass off because I want to get to the point where I can make a solid living off of this because I want to be able to go travel out to Kentucky to go see my man. You know what I'm saying? Because, bruh, that is long overdue. You know what I mean? Bruh. But, yeah, man. So, again, shout out to the homie Alpha Tyler. If you're watching this, brother, much love, much respect. You know what I'm saying? Always. Can't wait to the next awesome show. It's going to be, it's gonna be, you know what I mean? It, I'm having a blast with it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but, anyways, y'all. Much love, much respect for my man We Scheme for putting out this death to YouTube rap. You know what I'm saying? I feel where he's coming from with it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. You know what I mean? I respect it. And yeah, I already gave it a like because I love it. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all love it too, y'all know what to do with that link for uh, for the original video. If you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. While you're down there, feel free to peep over the uh, reaction request instructions as it has been updated. Excuse me. Uh, don't forget to check out, of course, you know, all my social media links, uh, my store links, all the homies channel links, including We Scheme, including my man Alpha Tyler, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. <clears throat> and also, guys, uh, if you're with the reaction, make sure that you guys are liking, commenting, make sure you're subscribed, all that good stuff. We are almost up to 5,400 subs, you know what I'm saying? Whew, I I'm excited. 
You know what I mean? Because, man, we getting closer to that 5,500 mark, which is the halfway point to 6K. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm excited. I hope y'all are excited, too. And, uh, yeah, I know I haven't been uploading as frequently as I used to, but trust me, the channel's not going anywhere. I'm still going to do my thing. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, I'm because I, I believe, you know what I'm saying, that this channel is going to grow. And we're going to do some big things. You know what I'm saying? You'll see. Plus, I'm trying to see y'all, too. I'm trying to travel you know, all throughout the country so I can see y'all. You know what I mean? So I can show y'all some real love. You know what I mean? But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. If you're with the reaction, make sure you guys are showing the uh, channel some love. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you're with this, um, if you're with uh, Scheme Song, make sure you guys are showing him some love as well. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And yeah, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.